So I just wanted to give a quick update on the way that we're now treating the creation of valve term profiles within Smart Valve, <clears throat> and also the way that they are distributed to each valve operation. So we've made some big changes here now. So I've gone into um, term profiles and creating a new template. So at the top level, you know, you don't have to worry too much. Um, as an organization, this is very complex. This is uh, setting the tone for some of the things we're going to be doing in the future. But really, organizational wide, we just really have to set one, perhaps two templates now. And they can be applied to every single valve across the network. And they're based on rules now rather than specific uh, valve terms for a specific valve type or a specific size. So here we could give it a name and description. We can say whether it's for an open or a closed turn by clicking on here. But if we tick this box here, it allows that template to be inverted. So if we set one up for an open, it will just reverse it for a close. If we set one up for a close, it reverse it for an open. Same um, kind of principle. We could, if we wanted to, set different type of valve term profile templates for all the different types of valves. And we could also make it valid for every single type of valve in the network by ticking this box. Again, something for the future, we have this idea of having priority templates in here. So we can have more than one template applied to different types of valves. And if we give this template a higher priority, then that will get served before the lower priority ones. Again, this is something that we're going to be looking at a little bit further down the line with some of the more developments we're doing. Where you have a mixed uh, bag of different unit sizes, you have some valves in inches, some euro valves in millimeters, then you may need to set two profiles. So here I'll be setting one in inches. You can specify if you want this only to apply to, you know, some valves of a minimum or maximum size, or you can apply it again to every single size you have across the network. This is used here when we're talking really about the Euro valves. So there are some clients that have a number of valves where the specific size is, you know, slightly different. So it might be 252 millimeters, 250, 249, 248. So this allows us to round up to the nearest one. So we don't have to set six or seven different turn profiles, which are all basically you know, a two inch or a one inch valve or whatever it might be rounded up into inches when it's millimeters, then we can add that in there um, and make sure that we've just got one consistent you know, type of valve term profile for all these individual slightly different millimeter sizes that you find sometimes. So here now we said they're based on rules. So rather than having, you know, this is 10 turns, this is eight turns, whatever. So for inches, the rule is that we um, times it by two and add one for the number of turns. So your count multiplier would be two and your offset here would be one. So that means that every valve that's in inches has a two times one. So if it's a four inch valve, it's times two, gives you eight plus one nine turns so that now is saying to the system that's nine turns if it's a four inch if it's a two inch it's five six inch 13 vice versa carrying on as we go so now that we've done that we can either say right okay how do we want them to treat this so we do it on a percentage or we could do it on a fixed length or we could do kind of poor steps as we go through so i'm going to create some steps now based on percentage turns rather than fixed length and pauses um, so i can say right this is a we said it was a turn to open. So we're going to do 20% of our opens really slow at 5 RPM. And then we're going to do the other 80% of that turn to open at 30 RPM. Now remember, because I've ticked the box, this is going to invert it. So it would just swap this round for the close. So now this profile for the, all the valves that are in inches across our network says OK. The count multiplier, it understands that it's times 2 plus 1. And then it's going to break it down and work out. So for 20% of the turn, we're going to be going at 5. And at 80%, we're going to be going no more than 30, whether that's the open phase or the close phase at this lower 20%. So now once I create this, press Create, that will be done. And that will be set across the board. Now we also have this notion of silent monitoring. So now that we set that valve turn profile, when we're setting jobs up in Smart Valve, we can still send them out as being directional. So it says, right, step one of one, we've got to do this and then this. But if you don't, it's always going to be monitoring against this valve turn profile in the back end. So if we're going too fast for this 20% of the turn, it's going to tell them. If we're going too fast or in the wrong direction for this, it's going to tell them as well. So that's always there now. So there's some of the improvements we've made to the valve turn profiles for this release.